Hi there, Wasabi Desk here. Today we're going to take a look at how to make interesting good chord progressions with Captain Chords and Captain Plugins. Thank you Mixthinky for sponsoring this video. This is a product I already use, but Mixthinky reached out to me, so I'm glad they did because I really like this. If you don't know yet, Captain Chords is a VST that you put on your DAW and it helps you to come up with interesting chord progressions and then you can use it to play your instruments inside your jaw. I'm also going to show you Captain Deep which uh, plays a bass along the chords and I'm using Ableton Live but it's compatible with other DAWs uh, so check the link in the description if you want more information. When you open Captain Chords for the first time you can select the key and the scale. If you don't know what to choose don't worry, if you choose C major or A minor, you will be good because if you try to play a note on a keyboard, then everything will fall on the white keys. If you're not playing any instrument, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. If you play the guitar, E sometimes is better. A lot of metal songs are in E minor because it's the lowest note on the guitar. And then you have major and minor, which are the most used ones. Uh, let's try with C major, which is the, the most basic one, and let's build into that. With Captain Chords, we have uh, different tabs. MIDI in is just to play MIDI instruments or notes, and then this will just play whatever sound preset you have. Uh, then in play, with MIDI keyboard, you can play the chords of the scale very easily. I'm playing C, but then Captain Chords is creating the whole chord here. And I can change these to be different kind of chords, uh, so I could say... Then you can also map to Baroque ones, which means that it will play the opposite chord. Uh, so if you have a major, it will play a minor. And then on Captain Chords 5, you have this pretty option. It's really cool to have other options. And then you can do the same thing on a computer keyboard, so you don't even need a MIDI controller to play chords very easily. If I push any key here, it's going to create that chord automatically. People talk about chords in the sense of one, five, six, four, and all of that, and that's because you can select any key, you can play the first chord, and the fifth chord, and the fourth chord, so it's always the same pattern, and you will see that in, in Roman numerals, uh, they use this system uh, instead of saying the actual chord as in C major, they will say one instead of C major. Let's go to the editor of Captain Chords, which I think is the most powerful feature of Captain Chords. You have different tabs where you can save a verse, play, chorus, chorus, drop, but you can use them uh, any way you want. These buttons you see here with the colors are the primary chords. These chords are the chords that will work well with this scale and this key. Major chords are red, minor chords are blue, and then you have the green one, which is the diminished. And then you have a description at the bottom. No matter what kind of music you do, Western music, you can make rock, EDM, hip hop, pop. These chords are relevant to you, and there are a lot of songs that only use this. The editor is very simple, yet very powerful, and the reason why I like this plugin. You can choose any chord, just you create another one, so this duplicates the, the what you had before. And then you can just select another one, and another one, and then another one. And then it's synced with your DAW, so you just start playing, and then you have your chord progression. Then you can just move around these uh, chords the way you want. Uh, like you could do like this or like that, um, yeah, you can listen to them as well here and you can just play that. You can select a rhythm, you have a lot of them, uh, but just, yeah, let's... So you can also connect Captain Deep to Captain Chords, and you have a bass. Okay, this is not maybe not the best song or <laughs> all the time, but 
you can also go here because now we're using sounds from Captain Quartz, but this is something new on Captain Plugins 5 where you can just select a VST instrument right from uh, Captain Quartz. So now this is going to play these Arturia CS80B. Uh, let me find something that... And then you can just experiment with different... Yeah, so I just changed it to C minor. So yeah, you can go here and change the VST instrument, and now you can also do it on Captain Deep as well. You can select Serum, for instance. And you can change... So now it always follows your chords, so that is great. The cool thing about Captain Chords is that it minimizes the leap by default. I think this is very powerful because chord progressions tend to sound cleaner when you're not jumping around. So for instance, when you play the first chord and then you play the sixth chord, you'll see that there's a huge gap between them on the, on the keyboard. But if I start my chord progression with one and then I push six, you'll see that what's happening in the keyboard is that it's playing this shape and then that shape. And you'll see that there's only one note changing, and that's because you want to keep things simple so that chords are not jumping around. Usually that sounds more professional, it sounds better. When you play the keyboard, when you play piano, you want to stick to uh, not changing much the chords, so you don't want to be jumping your hands around. It sounds more professional, so... Captain Chords is already doing it for you. Now, if you stick with these chords, you can make a lot of songs. One, four, and five are the most common chords. So if you don't know what to do, start with these chords and then combine them with others. In fact, if you're using Captain Chords, there's a lot of chord progressions that can inspire you. To add seven chords and make them sound good, usually you want to stick to the same kind of chords. So if you go to Captain Chords, you'll see that every time you select a chord, you have these other buttons. You have C minor here, so you have C suspended 2, suspended 4, C minor 7, C minor 9th, C minor flat 13, C major, and C7. If you want to add seven chords and make them sound good, you usually want to stick to the same kind of chord. So in this case, if we have a C minor, we want a C minor 7. In this case, if we have a A flat major, we want an A flat major 7. Let's do them all. Uh, so this is major, then major 7. Yeah, this sounds a little bit more 80s. You can add also strum here. You can go with other types of seven chords, but then you're using notes that are outside of the key, and that's a little bit more complex. I'm not going to go into it now. Then you can also use suspended chords. Suspended chords sometimes are used as passing chords, but in the 80s and in synthwave, there are a lot of suspended chords because they sound dreamy. It's like they want to resolve to something, but they can sound great in these genres. So let's do some... Testing, yeah, let's let's try this. So I'll put some suspended chords. Uh, and you can combine that with seven chords. Maybe the opposite. Maybe these can be seven, and this can be suspended. Let's try something. Yeah, I like this one. You see, with suspended chords, it can sound a little bit more dreamy. And then you can add complexity, which means it adds more notes. If you like Synthwave, I will finish the tutorial with this tip I like to do when using Captain Chords. I added the serum here and what we will do is, I was using this instance of Captain Chords, uh, so I'll listen to everything that this Captain Chords is doing. Anything that is played now from Captain Chords 
is also playing there. But now it's a lead, it's only uh, one note. But what we will do is add an arpeggiator to that instrument. So what will happen now? So what happens now is that Captain Gors is playing the instrument that we have here inside, and then he's also triggering the other instrument that we have outside. Actually, the way I'm sending the MIDI to that instrument is the same way I'm sending the MIDI to my uh, Lumin controller, where that makes the legs light up, so with the notes that it's playing. Anything that I'm playing here now, And all I'm doing here is just, I'm playing the same exact chord in different flavors, if you will. Like, I'm playing a major, a major seven, suspended two, suspended four. And because that has also the arpeggiator, it gives it this mood. And with suspended chords, it even sounds more synth wavy. So that's all guys for this video. I'm making a lot of songs with this plugin, uh, Synthwave songs, and I'll be sharing them on Instagram or here in the channel. So stay tuned for that. I find it that even if I know the theory behind how to build chords and all of that, this plugin makes it all very fast and very easy to build my chord progressions. And then you can export the MIDI, you can uh, connect it to different instruments, multiple instruments at once, um, so yeah, I find it really useful, so that's why I accepted to do this video uh, as a sponsor video. And if you find this useful, please consider subscribing, it means a lot to me. Thank you, and see you on the next one.